scientists are everywhere. They are found roaming the roads, around monuments, and getting in the way of your events. We'll look at each tier of scientist and their health, damage, behavior, attributes, and loot tables. Hey guys, Jafai here, and let's get started. There are six tiers of scientists. Roma, Dweller, Common, Military, NVG, and Heavy. These tiers are determined by a combination of health and loot. For most scientists, the loot they drop is closely related to their overall health. However, this does not apply to NVG and Heavy scientists, who have a unique loot table. Let's take a closer look at the health of each scientist tier. We can examine the number of body shots and headshots required to defeat each tier using weapons such as the bow, revolver, python, semi-auto, and AK. Additionally, we can include the charts for time to kill that includes the reload time for each weapon if it goes over its capacity. The damage inflicted by scientists is primarily determined by their weapons and is not affected by their health or tier. Scientists may wield weapons such as the M92, MP5, M39, LR300, SPAS12, and M249. However, the heavy scientists inflict a different amount of damage with the SPAS12 compared to other scientists. Unlike player shots, the damage inflicted by scientists does not decrease with range. However, the accuracy does decrease over distance, increasing your chances of survival. Scientists have varying aggro ranges based on their type and weaponry. The aggro distance determines when a scientist will be alerted to your presence, while the shooting distance is the range at which they can return fire if attacked. For example, the four aggro distance ranges are 15, 30, 40, and 60 meters. These distances give you an idea of how close you can get before being detected. Scientists follow predefined paths and will continue to do so indefinitely. However, if they become aggroed, they are free to move around and pursue you until you are defeated. If close enough, most scientists when aggroed will sprint towards you, especially if you're hiding behind a door or cover. This can make it difficult to retreat and heal. All scientists share several attributes. First, they can see you equally well during the day and night, so sneaking around is not effective. Second, you can blind all scientists using a flashbang. On average, all scientists except NVG scientists will be blinded for 3 seconds, while NVG scientists will be blinded for 5 seconds. This average is based on the results of flashbanging both a common and NVG scientist 6 times. Third, scientists are triggered by nearby noises if you're within the aggro range and not in line of sight. Finally, you can harvest 5 cloth and 30 bones from all scientists' bodies using a hatchet. For the lower tier, we have the roaming scientist, found along the roads with 115 HP. They are only equipped with an M92 pistol as a weapon. Here's a typical encounter you might have with a roaming scientist. Once defeated, you'll likely find two items on their body. Here are the 10 items with the highest chance of being found. Next, we have the Tunnel and Underwater Dwellers with 125 HP. The Tunnel Dwellers are equipped with either an M92 pistol or M39 rifle, while the Underwater Dwellers have either an M92 or MP5. Scientists wielding the M39 rifle are much more accurate, hitting most shots compared to those wielding the M92 pistol. Here's a typical encounter you might have with a Tunnel Dweller scientist. and Underwater Dweller. Both types of dwellers drop similar loot and will likely contain three items once defeated. Here are the top 10 items by chance that you'll find. The common tier includes Arctic, Cargo, Excavator, Military Base, oil rig, silo, airfield, train yard, and launch site scientist with 150 HP. 
They can be found wielding an MP5 or LR300. Here's a typical encounter you might have with a common scientist. Once defeated, they'll likely contain three items. Here are the top 10 items by chance that you can find on these scientists. The military scientists are exclusive to the military tunnels at 175 HP. They can be found wielding an LR300 or SPAS-12. Be careful when up close as a scientist with a SPAS-12 can quickly take you out. Here's a typical encounter you might have with a military scientist. Once defeated, they can contain around three items. Here are the top 10 items by chance you can find on military scientists. NVG scientists have recently been added to the game and are only found within the military silo monument. They share the same health as the heavy scientists at 300 HP. However, share completely different loot tables. So they have been placed into a separate tier. NVG scientists can be found wielding an LR300 or SPAS-12 shotgun. Here's a typical encounter you might have with an NVG scientist. As mentioned in the overview, these scientists are more affected by flashbangs compared to other scientists. It's best to come prepared with a few flashbangs, so you can quickly take them down without taking any damage. Once killed, they can contain around 3 items. Here are the top 10 items by chance you can find on the NVG scientists. Heavy scientists are only found on the oil rig after triggering the lock crate and will have 300 HP. They wield either an M249 or SPAS-12. There is no difference in armor or shots to kill when compared to the MVG scientists. However, the M249 allows them to continuously fire, while other scientists would have to pause and reload. Heavy scientists come in groups of 6 for the small oil rig and 10 for the large. Here's a typical encounter you might have with a heavy scientist. Once defeated, they have the possibility of dropping up to 8 items. Here are the top 10 items by chance you can find on the heavy scientists, along with the most interesting items that can be found. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.